one of the great things about becoming a foster carer is it takes all sorts. Um, we come in all shapes and sizes. There's no standard description of a foster carer. You might be part of a couple, you might be a single person, you might be part of a same-sex couple, you might own your own home, you might not, you might have been a parent, you might not have been a parent. None of that would exclude you from being a foster carer. It's about what you bring. So absolutely, if it's something that you've even been thinking about, just pick up the phone and have a chat with someone. It's definitely helped me be a better person and enjoy life more. I'd say it's definitely for everybody. Once you see the impact that you have in the kids' lives, there's no turning back. It's the best place I've worked. I think the training that they offer is amazing. I think the ethos as well, just the way it's all about the children, it's all about the young people with support. And I just think we're, we're second to none. As a foster carer, you are a mum or a dad. You also have to bring in elements of being a friend. You have to be sometimes an educator. You have to be a good listener um, that able to offer that therapeutic support at times. It's not always an easy job, but the rewards from that are literally life changing. There's nothing like it in the world. This is life now. You know, I don't even see it as a job anymore. It doesn't feel like I'm working, you know, because I'm, I'm at home all the time. I'm trying to make the kid better, I'm trying to make myself better. So I'd say that's probably my, my biggest thing that uh, it's made me happy about it, that she's seen a different side to the world because she's came from all these different homes. And she's came to this place but it's quiet, there's nobody to judge her. She's picking up all the right things that we would like her to pick up on. My wife actually seen a double spread in the Daily Record. Uh, 2007 I think it was and I thought I don't know the first thing about that I've never experienced anything like that I don't even know what kibble was about so I went along and out of 600 people they chose 60 to be taken through the HNC uh, and SVQ3 for childcare and I was one of the lucky ones that got picked and I have never looked back since. I feel as if fostering saved my life so it's just something that I always felt that's that's where I could see myself going or I could see myself working and I was very lucky to get the opportunity to work there and I've been there for eight years now. We were worried um, at the beginning um, we were getting matched with this young person and we were thinking what if he doesn't like us you know and, and you kind of think that's probably the same fears and worries that the young person was having. I think we just couldn't imagine your life without him. Certainly now he's been here for three years um, and I couldn't imagine our lives without him. Now he's such a big part of our family.